Welcome to Pacific Magazine. I'm Petty Officer Anthony Martinez. I'm at Camp Cancun in Kumamoto, where the U.S. Army and JGSDF's Western Army are participating in Exercise Yamasakura 7-1. The annual bilateral computer-based exercise focuses on battling virtual threats, but it's not the only thing that goes on here. Let's check it out. Iron Chef Yamasakura. Welcome to the third annual Iron Chef competition at Yamasakura. To date, the U.S. team has been triumphant the last two years, but this year the JGSDF brings strong competitors. The rules are simple. Each team of five must create an appetizer, soup, salad, main course, and dessert. The judges will score each dish based on presentation, creativity, and of course, taste. However, a mystery ingredient must be used in each dish. This year's mystery ingredient is Japanese pumpkin, also known as kabocha squash. Iron Chef Yamasakura will be right back. During Yamasakura 7-1, soldiers are offered the opportunity to learn about Japanese culture through historical tours, such as Kumamoto Castle. However, some events have made more recent historic impacts to the area. Kumamoto City suffered two earthquakes in April earlier this year. We're here at a local storefront where JGSDF members and U.S. Army personnel are taking time away from Yamasakura and lending a helping hand. I think that it solidifies our work because we're able to build a personal relationship. I've actually been to Japan several times. I've spent most of my life here. And every time the Japanese are always very gracious hosts. So this helps us give back and helps them feel better about working with us since they give so much to us. Although there wasn't much structural damage, the store did suffer electrical and plumbing issues, which caused Shiro Katsura to close his business. The situation has been like this since the earthquake. I couldn't clear things out until now, and most of it is clear, but there's still some work to get done. The goal is getting a little closer. Shiro said he tried to hire companies to clear out the store, but most companies were backed up due to the severity of the earthquakes. I was debating to do it myself, but then the JGSDF offered to help with the U.S. Army, and I said yes. I thought it would take a whole day to clean, but it only took half of that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Iron Chef Yamasakura. Now that things are cooking, let's meet some of the competitors. For the Japan team, we have Mr. Takashi Oiki and Mr. Yosuke Tajiri, two government employees from the local hospital in Kumamoto. And joining them from 8th Division of the Western Army is Master Sergeant Koshiro Ikeda, Sergeant First Class Isaro Kariyazano, and Sergeant First Class Shigeyuki Hieda. We'll meet the U.S. team when Iron Chef Yamazakura returns. They set up this mission for us to come out and play for the people of Kumamoto in this uh, public square. And so they played a little, we played a little bit, and then we, we played some together in a cross-cultural uh, exchange. And I think entertained the audience. We, we got together and met them the, the second day we were here, and we, we picked up a, a song that we wanted to do, the, uh, the Stevie Wonder song. And then we, we got together, we rehearsed it two or three times yesterday before our first mission. We just said, hey, you guys wanna play? And they said yes, and so, so we did. The great thing about music, and you saw in a situation like this, is it's an international language. So even though I don't speak any Japanese and they speak a little bit of English, we are still able to communicate. And it's, it's an instant, uh, instant bridge, instant connection. So it's, it's a real treat for us to come out and, and share that with them, both with the audience and with the other, the Japanese band. It's quite an honor. It's an amazing thing, I think, to be in the military, which tends to be very structured and rigid, and to bring something that is much more creative and fluid. American audiences, I think, can be a little more boisterous, but, but we could tell, looking at the audience, they were having a good time, they were engaged, they were clapping. So even if they weren't jumping up and down, I could tell they were really listening and really enjoying it, which is great. So, and that, that energizes us and it makes we, us play better because there's a, a, a give and take from the audience that you always get when you're on stage. It's, it's been awesome. They're, they're great players, they're, they're great hosts. 
I mean, they, they really saved us. We would just be flying on the wind if they weren't here taking care of us. Iron Chef Yamasakura. For the U.S. team, we have Sergeant Amadelia Ortega from the 35th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion. Sergeant David Toe, Sergeant Larry Rudd, and Specialist Aaron Finley, all from 1-1 Air Defense Artillery, and Specialist Nicholas German from 364th Expeditionary Sustainment Command. The judges of Iron Chef include Yamasakura's Commanding Generals, Lieutenant General Stephen R. Lanza of First Corps, and Lieutenant General Kiyoshi Ogawa of Western Army. Stay tuned in to see which team will be victorious during Iron Chef Yamasakura. U.S. soldiers were given a lesson by seven-year reigning national champions of Naginata. Um, today's demonstration by our counterparts was a women's self-defense class. They uh, demonstrated how to use a long sword for protection. Cultural exchange events like these provide more than just a fun learning environment for some soldiers. I would say it's just as important when, you know, back at home we go through basic training with one another, we get to know each other. It gives us a reason to want to defend the people we're fighting with. Traditionally, Naginata was a battle weapon used in ancient Japan and consisted of a pole with a curved sword at the end. Although anyone can practice the martial art, throughout history it's more commonly practiced by women as a form of self-defense. But one distinguished visitor at Yamasakura has the nation's defense in mind. We're here at the Current Operations Intelligence Center of Yamasakura 7-1, where Japan's Minister of Defense, the Honorable Tomo Miyanada, takes a tour. The tour showed Inada and General Toshio Okabe, JGSDF Chief of Ground Staff, how the U.S. and Japanese forces combat virtual threats during the computer-simulated exercise. Of course, when you hear computer-simulated, you're like, okay. But when you're actually in there um, playing the game, it's different, you know, you feel like a failure if you don't get the job accomplished or the mission done. So it's very intense to be there playing it. This was Inada's first visit to the largest command post exercise conducted bilaterally, which includes about 1,600 U.S. personnel worldwide and 4,600 JGSDF members, and can lead to some communication issues here and there. I would be lying if I said we understand each other all the time, but there is always constant effort to understand one another. But it's that sort of commitment among members from both nations that makes the bond at Yamasakura so strong. I can appreciate the um, extent that our counterparts go to to be able to set up things like this so we can have these cultural exchanges. So, you know, it doesn't feel like we, you know, even though that's what we are here for is the exercise, it's just something more to look forward to, to be able to get to know who we are fighting with. So at every level of Yamasakura, strengthening relationships and the importance of defense is well understood. Iron Chef Yamasakura. Now let's check out the final dishes. For the U.S. team's menu, we have a salmon cake, the pumpkin puree for the appetizer, the soup, the chicken and dumplings, the salad, a ceviche, a seafood alfredo for the main course, and a pumpkin and banana spice cake for dessert. The Japanese went with a theme playing on the four seasons of Kumamoto. For their menu, we have veggies and shrimp with tartar sauce for the appetizer, dagojiru, or flour dumpling soup, a summer veggie energy salad, an assorted tempura with omelet for the main course, and a potato cake with sweet soy sauce for dessert. And it looks to be in the shape of karashi rincon, a Kumamoto specialty consisting of lotus root and spicy mustard. And the winner is... Japan! Congratulations to Team Japan on their Iron Chef Yamasakura victory. Well, that does it for this edition of Pacific Magazine. I'm Petty Officer Anthony Martinez, and from all of us at AFN Pacific, thanks for watching.